Hello, hello, Pisces. Welcome to your June 2019 overview reading. This is good for you if you're a sun, moon, or rising Pisces. And before I lay all of this out, I just want to let each and every one of you know that I have launched a podcast, which I'm very, very excited about. You're welcome to check it out. The link is in the description box. And now I am going to lay this spread out and then we will get started. Okay, so while I pull these oracle cards, just go ahead and tune in. If there's specific information you want to get this month, just notice whatever it is that you need to. Ask for that information to make an appearance. Take a deep breath into the diaphragm. And then I also want to let you know, if you're wondering which decks I'm using this month, just the description box has them all listed out. Okay, and last, last oracle card for you. All right. Now the truth bomb that we have coming up for you in June is fierce but flexible. And I think that really speaks to the mutable quality is it's safe to have standards, it's safe to have expectations, it's safe to have, you know, in contextual cases, certain things that you're holding up here. And then in other cases, it is okay to be a little bit flexible, be willing to allow them to evolve rather than becoming so rigid that you stay in old ways when you may have outgrown them. Now, I had you guys vote on Instagram which oracle deck you wanted and you guys chose Animal Spirit. So here we go. We have Moth. This is really about your transformation. I think you're starting to see a lot of the results of the hard work that you've put in. This is about actually seeing the fruits of your labor. You're seeing it. It's like the, the results are more tangible. They're more defined. You can see them. They, they've materialized in the physical world a little bit more to the point where there's a lot of data and a lot of evidence that is playing to your favor right now. But remember, if you're not looking for it, if you're not actively seeking it out, it's not going to be as apparent. So you have you have to look in order to find it. And then the word of the month is evolve. Favor incremental changes over quantum leaps. Further maturation may be required to meet your goal. Celebrate your new self. Honor any grief in releasing the old. Okay, perfect. So that makes, I mean, that completely makes a lot of sense because you have this moth card right here and it is about allowing old things to constantly die away as you figure out and feel into what the next version of yourself looks like, right? Because you, I, we're going to see how this goes, but it's either you're, you're like coming through into this new version of yourself or this is something where you're mapping out next steps. So we'll, we'll see what happens in this reading. The central energy for you this month is the Two of Cups. Beautiful connection, pleasure, joy, enjoyment. I think that, you know, maybe there's someone in your space or connections that you've been wanting or craving or you're in the middle of that really are having a positive impact on your life. So again, this speaks to the effort that you've given. One of the big cues of a level up is if you have higher quality people coming into your space. And that's what the Two of Cups is showing here. If you have better people, healthier people making an arrival, then you know you're in you're, you're heading in the right direction. Now let's see what's shifting out. So we have death. This is, I think you guys remember, unless you're new here, the April and May readings were really intense in terms of transformation and kind of dealing with the echo of a lot of the, the meat and potatoes, like the, the heavy duty healing that you've been doing. And I think now there you're 
like reaching a, a deeper connection with yourself and kind of realizing your true potential and the things that you are looking to manifest and create in this lifetime. So this looks really, really solid. And I can say safely that you've, you've made it up a mountain, right? Like this is showing like, okay, there's a whole lot of relief that's coming as a result of the work that you've done. So you can trust that the work you've done has already had major, major payoff. And then the oncoming energy is the Page of Wands. So don't forget to evaluate along the way. The Page of Wands kind of looks for maybe something that they've missed, some information that might still be laying around. It's just about kind of going through with the fine tooth comb and checking in with yourself. Are you positioned in a direction that really works for you that is in alignment with you. It's just about positioning. That's all this is. So make sure that you're kind of going through and just allowing yourself to um, allowing yourself to check in. That, that's all this is. Just check in along the way and see how you feel each and every step. If something is done, if you've evolved past something, it's okay to let it go. Now, these four cards that I laid out here, they are a little bit more flexible. I didn't put a clear intention on them because I wanted them to just bring up whatever information needed to make an appearance. So first we have the devil. This is the old version and the old story. Okay, limiting beliefs, self-doubt. I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if that's right. I don't know if I can trust my intuition, old habits, things that are going to set you back rather than propel you forward. So let's see what else is coming up with the devil. We have strength. So this is about balancing the two, witnessing the shadow while not allowing it to step into the driver's seat. We all have a shadow. We all have to deal with it from time to time. And that... That doesn't mean that it's bad or that it's a flaw. It simply is a part of the human experience. And with this strength card, it's showing that there's a choice to make. Having a shadow self come up and try to pull you back down towards complacency or where the old patterns and behaviors were before does not mean you have to allow it. You can allow it to show up. You can hear what it has to say. You can find where has that been true for me in the past. But what is this newer, better version of yourself taking you? And that's where the strength card comes in is this is all about what is the better version of yourself, the highest version of yourself calling for? And that's where you want to take action. And it's funny that these are that I laid out this spread this way because it really does look like a fork in the road. You know, you can go into diving into old behaviors, running on autopilot, not transforming anything. But remember, it starts with you. It starts with your decisions moment by moment. And that is really what's going to help shape your experience through and through. Now, let's see what else we have going on. Justice. I'm going to pull the other card here. And we have the Ace of Swords. You're getting really, really clear on what it is that you want, need, desire. The Justice card is kind of like the, the clarity and the vision about what makes sense for you. The Ace of Swords is just showing the sharp ideas, the inspiration coming through in order to actualize that vision of yourself. This is ultimate clarity. I think you're kind of sitting from a bird's eye view or a moth's eye view where you're able to see up above everything that's underneath you and you've, you've evolved to the point where you're able to see this super clearly. So let me check in. I'm going to clarify this right here. Ace of Swords, again, oh neat, they have the tobacco plant for this. So what, this is not going to be um, a good time to like sacrifice what you want. I would actually say, you know, be fierce in what you want, but flexible in how you get there. And what the, like what method you use, because you don't need to suffocate everything or ice everyone out or... Um, limit yourself in any way. This is about 
being clear on what you've been able to do, not diving into old belief systems or uh, limitations within yourself or anything like that, aligning yourself with your internal strength in that highest version of yourself, and then being flexible with the how, you know, evaluating as you go. So I'm also going to clarify the Page of Wands. I feel like there's more information here that I want to get for you in the oncoming energy. So to clarify this, we have the King of Pentacles. Oh, nice. This is an awesome, awesome, awesome card to have coming up here because this is about foundation. This is about the uh, goals that you're reaching. It's about the, the base layer that you've created. It's about stability. So checking in is what helps you create more of a base layer of what you're building off of. So you have like the foundation is what's... You, it's kind of like, okay, we're laying the concrete for this next project. That's what I'm getting here. And that's why the evaluation is coming from the page of wands, because it's about checking in before you start building, right? You want to make sure that you're really dialed in when it comes to mindset, when it comes to what your actions, thoughts, and words are communicating energetically, how you're feeling about each step of the process, and challenging yourself where you feel like you might be acting from a place of fear rather than alignment. Do not sell yourself short. This month is going to pose kind of the opportunities. I don't like calling them tests. It's more of decisions or choices. It's not a test. It's just like, do you want this? And how bad do you want this? Are you willing to do the work to get there? Or do you want to go back to the old ways? And that's where the work really happens. Okay, that's where it solidifies. So don't uh, don't sacrifice anything this month. It's kind of like hold what you want and what you're building. Hold that as possible, happening, coming through. You've done the work to get here. It, now it's about kind of laying the brick. Good grief. This is an intense reading. Okay, let, <laughs> let's go ahead and get into the timeline. So if you're new to my channel, we have first, second, third, and fourth quarter. That'll be where you end the month of June. So the first quarter of June, I, I say quarter, it's about a week-ish. We have the Father of Swords. So this is equivalent to the King of Swords in a normal deck. And it's all about clarity and mastery of mind. Remember, that's what I was saying here. I think you're very, very clear on what it is that you want, uh, what it is that you're building. Like that is clear as day. Now, where you might run into trouble is if you don't believe in yourself, right? If you don't believe it's possible, if you don't believe that you can actually obtain that thing, then you're really going to start running into issues. What I'm getting is the Father of Swords is saying you 100% can make this happen. What you want is achievable. What That idea, that inspiration that you've had, follow it. Pay attention to that. And that's that's really where things are going to uh, grow. Quarter two, we have the emperor. Plant yourself. Be convicted or <laughs> stand in your convictions, right? So if you, um, like with this father of swords, mastery of mind, clarity of thought, now this is like, okay, now I'm, I'm really laying the brick. Like what I was saying is you want to act from a place of consistency and alignment as much as you possibly can, right? You're not going to be perfect 100% of the time. Don't aim for perfection. Aim for consistency. That's all you're doing is like how, how often are you um, taking action despite what you're negative beliefs or your limiting beliefs are saying? How often are you doing what you know is best for you even when you don't feel like it? That's what's going to indicate what manifests. Quarter three, we have judgment, final decisions. This is like boom, 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 one right after the other with this reading and with this uh, timeline. It's like clarity after clarity after clarity. So I think you're really getting into alignment with this big, big, big version of yourself because I'm getting this as you. This isn't even about final decisions. Final decisions happen here. 
that's what the king, father of swords, king of swords is communicating. But the judgment card is like, you're out of the weeds. You're finally, um, able to breathe into this expansion fully and feel safe with where you're emerging. And then the end of the month, so wrapping up the month of June, we have the Four of Cups. I think this is actually indicating rest more than anything else, but it's also be very conscientious of what you're saying yes and no to. You might be surprised with how important your yeses and nos become, and it has to do with that alignment. If you're saying yes to things that you don't want, if you're saying no to things that you do want, then you're going to be sending mixed signals to the universe. I'm actually going to clarify this one as well just because I feel like there's another piece here two of wands so even at the end of the month remember that what you're building or what you desire is more than likely a long-term project so with that the two of wands is saying okay you have a you have to keep in mind like your yeses and nos, what's alignment, what's out of alignment with you. You know, you're going to want to pay attention to that and act accordingly, but also make sure you keep one eye on your vision to help you feel into aligned yeses and nos. And that's what's going to make this a lot easier. It doesn't have to be hard decision making. It can be really easy so long as you're keeping your eye on what what it is that you desire and what you're stepping into because how you step into that bigger version of yourself, this version of yourself, is by asking yourself, what would that version of me do now? Okay, now we're gonna do a three card pick. You are welcome to ask a question. You can ask for guidance. You can pick as few or as many cards as you'd like, whatever it is that feels good to you. Card number one, nine of swords. Okay, so remember this, this is representative of the devil, that fear, that temptation, that nay saying you can't do it. This isn't right for you. There's no way you can make that happen. Really be skeptical with that stuff. I'm not saying your fears don't have some truth, like in terms of like it's coming from somewhere. It's trying to protect you and do its job. But remember that it's probably lying in some way, shape, or form. So just, just keep an eye on this because, like I said early on, you don't want to let fear sit in the driver's seat, but you can absolutely let it have a little bit of breathing room. It's just about not making decisions from this place, allowing this to instead discharge from the body. And then card number two, we have the magician create, focus on creation, constantly keep that big picture vision in your mind, because that's what's going to help you make aligned decisions in the present moment. If you lose sight of the big picture, then it's going to become much more challenging to actually figure out um, what to do in the moment. Moment by moment decisions are what builds the big picture and that's ultimately what helps you to manifest that reality. Uh, you want to call things in, of course, like do, do the background work, map it out, uh, create in the astral first or like on a vision board or a journal or meditation, whatever it is that you like, but make sure that you are taking steps to um, really cultivate this physically and energetically. And then card number three, we have the queen of pentacles, money, 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 resources. This is yours for the taking. What you need when it comes to resources is already coming to you. You're solid when it comes to a financial and material gain or the things that you need. You have to believe that it is coming, even if you can't see it. And I think this is calling to stability and you getting the things that you need in a material sense. It, it looks... It looks like it's all unfolding in the right ways. So 
yeah, this, this just looks really solid. So you don't have to worry about resources. Remember that communicates scarcity. So what, if you're having fear, whoops, if you're having fear about that in particular, just check in with yourself and um, remember that that resources come in all different ways. It's not just from, it's not just from like one career or one, one path. It can come in all ways, shapes, and forms. So definitely keep that in mind. Thank you so much for joining me today, everybody. I always, always, always appreciate you. And it is such an honor being able to do these readings for you. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And follow me on Instagram at Onyx Healing. There's been lots of good stuff going on over there. So make sure you check that out. And just so you guys know, I have made a lot of changes to my website and what exactly I'm offering. So I'm doing way more work with people one-on-one -on -one in individual sessions. I have been dialing back the private email tarot spreads that I was doing. I am really taking a step back from those and working with people one-on-one. -on -one. But if you are interested in doing some energetic healing with me and more of the deep healing work, that is absolutely what I'm available for. And don't forget, I still do lots of tarot on Patreon. There's weekly sign-specific readings as well as the monthly love and relationship readings for every sign. They're big readings like this. So all of the links for that are in the description box. I hope you check all of that out if you're interested. There's lots and lots of varieties and options for everybody. And don't forget, I have a podcast out now. The link for that is also in the description box. Please check that out. I hope you guys enjoy it. And until next time, I wish you nothing but the best, everybody. Have a wonderful June, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.